Hi, good afternoon, everyone. The next confined skill we're going to do is mask removal and replacement. So the performance requirement is to remove, replace, and clear the mask. And why would we do this? Maybe we need to take our mask off to adjust the strap or something like that, adjust our snorkel. So you can easily take the mask off, make an adjustment, put it back on comfortable. So what are we going to do? First thing I want you guys to do is just break the seal at the top of your mask, let it fill up with water. Then we're going to take the mask, pull the strap from the back, bring it around in front, and hold on to it nice and tight. Okay? Going to get the mask strap out of the way, sweep your hand across the mask to make sure it's clear, feel for the nose piece to orientate it down, okay? get all of your hair out of the way, put the mask up to your face, replace the strap, make sure it's not twisted or anything like that. Okay? Once you're there, you're going to look down, take a big breath in, and I want you to press on the top of your mask with two fingers from each hand and exhale out your nose while you look all the way up, okay? My signal for the skill will be this. And some of the signals I might give you during the skill practice, I might tell you to blow out your nose. Okay? I might tell you to press on the top of the mask. I might tell you to look up, hold the mask tight. If you have your eyes closed, I might use some touch signals if you can't see me. So if I tap you on the nose, I'm telling you to blow out your nose. If I tap you on the forehead, I'm telling you to press on your mask. If I touch you on the chin, that means to look all the way up. Okay. We're going to be doing this in the deep part of the pool. Um, I'm going to have you guys in a line just in front of me. My assistant, Joel, will be just behind. I'm going to demonstrate the skill first for you guys, and then I'm going to come to you one at a time to do the skill. Okay? Any questions? All right, let's go do it.
You let me know when you're ready. Go. All right, team. This afternoon, we're going to go into open water and we're going to do two skills. Okay. The first skill we're going to do is regulator recovery. And the performance requirement is to recover and clear a regulator at depth. Why would we want to do this? As we've done, you could find a bunch of times we've taken the reg out. Maybe out in open water, our families are hearing about all this cool diving we're doing. We take your reg out, smile for the photo, be able to recover it, put it back in. The other skill we're going to do is hover, but this one is going to be using the oral inflation method. Okay, so we're going to become neutrally buoyant and hover by inflating the BCD orally before it's required. The value of this is that if for some reason our inflator had a little malfunction and we had to disconnect it on a dive, we don't need to end the dive. We can still continue the dive and adjust our buoyancy by orally inflating. Okay. So with the regulator recovery, how it's going to go, you're going to take your right hand, grab the regulator by the hose, take a big breath in, toss the regulator off to the side, making sure we're always blowing bubbles, most important rule on diving. I want you guys to lean to the right, touch your hip, touch your tank, sweep your arm around in a big circle, drag your fingers down your arm, replace the rack and clear it whichever way you're most comfortable. Okay. My signal for the skill will be this. Okay. Signals I might use are bubbles, lean, point the mouthpiece down, touch your hip or your tank, and find the regulator on your arm and clear the regulator. How this skill is going to be organized is we're going to be underwater in, in the ocean. Okay, I'm going to have you three in a line in front of me. My assistant, Joel, will be just behind you. I'm not going to demonstrate this skill because we've already done it in confined. Uh, I'm going to call you, each of you, out one at a time to do the skill. Okay, any questions about that one? Beautiful. And for the hover, using oral inflation, what I want you guys to do is we'll um, deflate our BCD and be on our knees for a moment in the sand patch. I want you to take your right hand, grab the regulator hose, take a breath in, when the red comes out, blow bubbles, point the mouthpiece down, and keep a good hold of it. Grab your inflator hose, make sure you push the button on the end, push the button, and blow just a little bit of air into the VCD. Okay? When you come off the LPI, make sure again we're blowing bubbles, put the rag back in, clear it, and then I want you to take a nice breath in, and if you've added enough air to the VCD to be neutral, then you start to float up. If not, we're going to do that sequence again. Okay? Grab the regulator, inhale, bubbles, mouthpiece pointed down, keep hold of it. LPI, push the button, blow a little bit of air in, bubbles again, back to the reg, clear, and again, inhale, this time we should probably have about enough air in the VCD that we're neutral, you'll rise up off the bottom, and you can keep yourself in this position if you like, or in a trim position, whichever you're comfortable with, okay, but we don't want to see any arms waving or any feet kicking, okay? um, <clears throat> My signal for the skill will be hover using oral inflation, okay, and I'll tell you guys um, <clears throat> to grab your regulator, inhale, I'll remind you for the bubbles, or the point the mouthpiece down, okay? Make sure you push the button there, um, put the red back in, and clear, okay? I might say, don't scold, keep your hands in like this. Okay? How this skill will be organized is, um, I'm gonna have the three of you in a line. My assistant, Joel, will be just behind, okay? Um, I will not be demonstrating this skill, and I'll call you out one at a time to do the skill. Any questions? Sweet, let's go do it.
All right, guys, great job on the mask placement skill, okay? I really, really liked how I pressed on the top of the mask to make it this tight seam. I did notice a few problems. Someone forgot to look up. We need to look all the way up to get those last little drops out of the mask, okay? We also, I also noticed that somebody didn't blow out their uh, nose. They're blowing out the mouth. And our nose is enclosed in the mask to be able to get the water out of it. So we have to blow out of our nose. It's just not going to work. Okay. And I noticed somebody else let the mask fall. They didn't hold on to it tightly. So just anytime you take your mask off, keep a nice tight grip. Okay. So now you're all able to replace a clear mask. And the value of this is that sometimes you need to make an adjustment to your mask strap or anything like that. You'll be able to comfortably take it off and make that adjustment and put it back on. And continue to do it. Cool. Great job. Man. All right, good stuff, guys. Those are two great skills that we did at home. Okay, the first one we did was regulator recovery, and I really liked how everybody remembered to keep the mouthpiece pointed down. Okay, I noticed somebody forgot to blow bubbles when they took the rag out of their mouth, so just make sure that we're never holding our breath. Most important. Okay? I also noticed that somebody wasn't leaning to the right. So leaning to the right is not crucial, but it does help the rag to drift out a little bit from your body, and it gives you a space to put your arm to do that sweet, nice, comfortable. Okay. Um, Otherwise, uh, excellent job. So if we were all able to recover and clear a regulator at a depth, the reason we do this is in case you want to take your reg out, smile for a photo, and send it back to your friends and family at home, show them what you're doing. Um, you're able to do it and then get that reg back in and comfortably and safe. All right, guys, in the second skill we did was how we're using the inflation. Yeah, I really liked how you guys took the regulator out of your mouth and you held on to it. We were adding the regulator recovery to the skill. So great job. I did notice a few problems. When we go to blow air into the BCD, we need to push that deflate button on the end of that Your balance a little bit it makes you unstable, it makes you feel really deep lopsided a little bit. Okay, so just keep those hands in, you can hold on to your arms like this. Um, otherwise, great job. So, everyone is able to become neutrally buoyant and hover while inflating the BC poorly. This is an important skill to learn. So, if we're out doing a dive and we have a malfunction in the low pressure inflator, we can disconnect it and we don't have to end the dive. We can still control our buoyancy by orally inflating the BCD and improve ourselves and have a nice safe dive. Cool. Any questions? All right, great job.